On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we are once again collecting for dinosaurs, this time with Zuru by Surprise Dino Strike Ice Age. The dinosaurs are back, but frozen over. It's been fun collecting from Zuru over the years. We've seen several kinds now, like Volcano and Color Change and Armor. They just keep adding on to these poor dinosaurs, but the theme stays the same uh, with several dinosaurs to collect and a couple trucks and a helicopter. Who knows, maybe we will find that super rare. Looks like he got snowed on, Tyrannosaurus Rex. So join along as we go through a box and see what we can find, what we can collect and review for these great looking five surprise dinosaurs. Squirrel Stampede! Chili! Share! And a squirrel vibe! Dino Strike Ice Age five surprise. We'll start here. What do we have? Oh, it's Squirrel Stampede's nemesis, the Zuru Pole Zipper. Easy, easy, e. Oh. Oh, it's Squirrel Stampede's second nemesis, the extra pull cord. Easy, easy, oh. And my first Dino Strike Ice Age character will be nothing other than frozen body parts. Could it be an Armagasosaurus? Is that what it could be? Oh, this is why the five surprise ball would not stand up straight. Slime. Throws off the balance. Well, it's gotta be in here. Well, let's check this package. This Dino Strike package should tell us what dinosaur we have. Ugh, arms, legs, ooh, plates. This could be a Stegosaurus. I was so not thinking that at first. What say our guide? So, pretty much all the all-stars, they're not naming them. That should be the Armagasosaurus, and then maybe the either Brachio or Brontosaurus, Pteranodon. There's our Stegosaurus we just pulled. A... Dilophosaurus, could not think of the name for that. And a T-Rex, and then a super rare iced out T-Rex. I mean, what happened? Like, this guy got iced in the lake, and then this guy got maybe hit by a comet. I don't know. And then a couple vehicles. A couple vehicles are also in there too. Will we find one? Instructions to build. I believe we've built one of these before. I've got it. The trick with any Stegosaurus is just to make sure which is front and which is back. The front usually just arcs down and will smash, smashers this head onto it, and then the rest of everything else. Ooh, I like it in frosty blue, our frozen Stegosaurus build. It feels a little different than previous generations. I don't know, maybe this back tail, the way the plates came together, he's tighter. Also, if you want to battle, give him a skull mask. Very frosty. I like the darker blue plates on the light blue body. Got some front moving legs, back moving legs, and a tail swipe that moves the head back and forth. Or I suppose the head moves the tail swipe back and forth. Or maybe the missing leg moves the tail swipe back and forth. Good start to our day. All right, let's begin a new Freddy Frost Fair. Would you like to choose the next ball for us, please? What's next? Okay, this one. I'm feeling good about this pull zip. Right on! Oh, by the way, recycled plastic. Do you think it will be a two-for-one special? No. As long as you didn't pull another Stegosaurus, Freddy, I'll be happy. Okay. Behold! The body is tiny, so I'm thinking either Dilophosaurus or a Pteranodon. More of this ice strike slime. Instructions for Pteranodon. Or a Pterodactyl. What is it? A fly e is what I'll call it. A fly e -zord. There's the pieces. After several series of dino, I actually donut, donut, what do not, donut? Huh? After several series of different dinosaurs, I don't typically see this one very often. Maybe one time? I don't know. Not very often at all. So we're gonna build up our uh, fly e -zord. And built, and come to think about it, I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Kind of funny, you can squeeze in the legs and it head bobs instead of flapping the wings. It head bobs, it's different than what you would expect. I hope I got the arms on the right way. There's paint here, but no paint there. Paint there, I think I got the arms backwards. What? Okay, there we corrected it. Make sure you have your paint lined up on each wing. That'll help you assemble. On the outside, it's nice and frosty clear with a little white stripage on the back wing there. And then this nice sky blue paint inside on the wings and then head bob. Also opening and closing mouth and some chains to tie it on down with if you need to. 
Very fun, have not seen before. Good pick, Frost Bear, but what does the Snow Golem roll in with? Okay, here's our next, what's our record right now? One and one. Ah, two successful zips. I am glad they got rid of the ball with all the multi-chambers. Yeah. Uh, I like these solid, full ball pops. So our third Dino Strike Ice. <laughs> kind of feel like it might be another Stegosaurus. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Another Stego. Nice going, Golem, the last time I asked you to pull. Well, I'll pull one this time. Maybe I will be the one to yell at. And that last Stego pulled so well. This one does too. I wonder if, like, Lego minifigure, if you could pull a weight on each ball and know what is inside. The slime bags probably throw it off. And, a little tricky to film these, they're so bright. Oh, there's something, a helicopter! How awesome, I rarely see the vehicles. In fact, have I ever seen a helicopter before? There's some more of the slime. And parts of our copter. Ice copter. Whoa, that's a lot to build on to. Pretty sure we've seen the same designs before. They've released the copter before, a couple blades. The back tail we can install real quick. That's an easy fit. Blades kind of just fit over each other, I think. They're just gonna overlap like so. And then placing onto the rotor. It's got like a bowcaster weapon to mount onto. That's the bowcaster. These wings go on the side. I like the color of this. Pretty cool color. Very cool to have something to fly about and round up our Ice Age dinos. And this claw thing, this claw thing goes in here somehow. All right, so there's our copter with crossbow harpoon weapon up front, load and fire, somehow little button on the back. Oh dear, won't be seeing that for a while now. We just lost some landing gear up front. Ah, we've lost some landing gear, get that back on. The only problem with these is they are sometimes very fragile. Landing gear back underneath. I'm, I'm surprised it actually has landing gear to be honest. Some on the back there too. And then there's this claw for grabbing onto your finger. It's got my finger. Uh, no, um, for grabbing onto dinosaur heads and tearing them off or something awful. Well, that was a good pull. We actually pulled a helicopter. That's rare for me. Well, Fred Bear, you pulled pretty good. Pull again for us. There we go, good pull. How many of these did I find? I found a box, a shelf box, so there was like 12. Still plenty more to see. And, and, it's, it's another Duranodon. What? My luck today is a little bit repetitive. Well, we can't trust Frost Bear's picks anymore, can we? Well, I'll just go again. I did pretty good with that helicopter. I sent some good things with this one. We're looking at this time. Okay, different body type, could be anything. Got a nice white belly, more, more blue slime, and T-Rex, T-Rex maybe. And this is not the super rare though because it's in a deep blue. It's gotta be a frosty white to be the super rare. But I'll take a T-Rex any day. Got some legs. More legs, body. Hardest part again, trying to figure out which way the torso goes. Uh, that head part probably up front here. Ooh, the frost goes down its back, not its belly. Thought I had it the other way. That's a tight fit. Then our classic tiny forearms and our big legs and back. Plus a tail, match that frosty top. Okay, we got her. There's more of a realistic feel with these, by the way. Some of the Smashers dinosaurs will come out a little more toony, cartoony, whereas this version, your actual T-Rex miniature, frozen solid in an iceberg to be reborn on your table. Uh, action feature is typically this right here. So far today, the best working, the best working feature. And of course, we have a little snarl buster, a mask to place onto head. That is a classic find, nine to collect. So far we've found four. And for our next ball, what do we got? I'm getting better with these pull cords today. Okay, what could it be, what could it be? Opening up, opening, and, oh, it's the car! 
we found both vehicles. Did not see that coming. That's a pretty cool find. More ice slime. The vehicles are very much fun for Dino Escape. Car should be easier to build too. I think mine is already mostly built. Sometimes you have to place in the shell together there. I just have to work on the wheels and the gun. And done. Icy looking all-terrain racer there. Good wheelage for bouncing about the mountain tops. What do we got in the logoage on the panels? I can make out Dino Hunter with the T-Rex kind of like busting through the panel. Very fun. And of course, a little launching projectile. Cool on that, I rarely find the vehicles. I rarely do, so two in one day is amazing. Hey Shimo, why don't you pull a ball next? Let's see what our new resident Ice Titan can find for us. Shimo appearing in the new Playmates line of Godzilla action figures. She has chosen this one. Good work, Shimo, let's see what we got. Oh, I may have placed the hook on the front of that car, I forgot. Ah, oh, this one's not going very well. There, at least it gives you something to do at first. And it looks really cool. And what are we gonna find? Well, we've got a soft body I do not believe we've seen yet. Maybe a bluish stripe on, well I can't tell what's up or down. What is this, more blue ice? It would be, I think it's just your basic Brachiosaurus. Good job Shimo, a win for the quadrupeds. There we go. Oh, and a tail. I'm liking this so far. Which direction? Image. We got a big scrape on the side. I think this is the front direction. Where's our head? Where is our head? Oh, there we go. I almost thought we didn't have one. I'm like, oh no. What? That doesn't seem right. That seems really short. Is there a secondary stalk? There it is. I almost made my Brontosaurus Brachiosaurus really, really stumpy. Okay. Add a tail. Just match the colors. Match the color going down. The side, like that, the belly of blue and the deep of stripe up top. And now for fun with legs though. It's gonna be a front, no, back leg, yeah. They just don't look right when you put them, put them down. Yeah, look at that. Spectacular, oh, I love the raised foot. I love the raised foot with this one. Although the raised foot is causing some trouble standing. Oh, there we go. There we go. So what do you think about this one? This one's looking really cool. I like the uh, just the contorted body. It's a little bit everywhere uh, with that leg up there. Uh, I guess for the ice trap, there's a little ice trap feature. So for display, you put that right there. It looks extra. And then, oh, sorry, dude. Uh, there we just go. How about that song? Uh, we'll just turn this around like so. And uh, yeah. Uh, Head rotation, leg rotation, and a fun da 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 da. I like this one quite a bit. If it just would stand for us. Good find, Shimo. And really quick, let's correct what I missed. There's our truck again. There is this claw. I almost, I think I thought that was the helicopters that fell off, um, but didn't. Just place that claw up front. That's, oh, it kind of is a retracting claw. I don't know. Well, there you go. The claw is there to grab on and capture during a chase. So now, I don't know if we're going to find anything extra here. We only have four left. We're on the Ice Age hunt for an Armagasosaurus, one of my favorites, and a Dilophosaurus. So two there, and then a super rare T-Rex uh, would be the fun, fun finale, but I don't think that's going to find to happen. Uh, but we did find those two vehicles. We'll just keep going, see what we get. It's okay to get a couple repeats. You gotta have a couple herd building Zors. I'll try this one. And what could it be? Under the sea? It's just crumbling. And is that a double Bronto in a row? A double Brachio in a row? How funny. I really mixed these up, I swear. It's really hard not to mix them up in this box. They're just so jumbled. Three left. What do you think we got in this one, Captain Cold? And, 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 it's, it's... Okay, okay, I think we do not have seen this. Uh, could be the Dilophosaurus. Good find, Captain Cold. I believe it is a Dilophosaurus. Way cool. Almost kind of moist. I think it's been frozen over. So in here we should have Dilophosaurus pieces. Lots of Dilophosaurus pieces. Q 
curious how this one will come together. In the past, I've had trouble with the Dilophosaurus build. If it's the same, hard to say. Well, let's start building. There's our body. And head will probably go on the thicker side. Nope, <laughs> I completely got that wrong. On this side. Oh, I hate how these come together. Got it. Okay, let's get its back legs on. I've always had trouble with the back legs on these. They just keep coming off. We'll see if they're any better this time. Feels like it's the same thing. And the other back leg, a little tiny forearms. Tail, a tail of the Dilophosaurus. And so you can build with the frills unfrilled or completely off. This is where I've had trouble in the past. They have not fit very well. In fact, I always have trouble figuring out which way the frills go. So sadly, the Dilophosaurus has always been kind of junk in this collection. I got the frills on. I'm having some issues with the neck too. I feel like I might have broke broke the latch tab thing. Uh, they just don't look right. Well, unless we go the opposite, we have them frilling out. Let's try that. We'll try one more way. They're, they're just not holding in. Let's try frilling out. Maybe I'll have better luck there. You're gonna have to play around. So now they're kind of frilling back instead of frilling forward. Is that correct? That's probably correct. But still kind of junk. They fall off so easily. We do have opening and closing mouth uh, with action feature. That's kind of fun right there. And I suppose if these frills just bother the heck out of you like they do me, just remove them and you still have a pretty cool Dilophosaurus. And in fact, this is more uh, accurate right there for the Dilophosaurus. It did not have frills. That's a Jurassic Park thing. And a little steel cage mask. Good to see though. I, I know there's Dilophosaurus fans out there and I know you can make it work. Okay, what else? We have two more. We have, wait, how did that get in here? Volcano strike? How did we get a volcano strike in there? I had an extra volcano strike ball? That's funny. What is this, like 2020? 2020, 2021. So that's funny, how did that get in there? Can't recall if we did this full series. I think we did. Okay, we'll, we'll start with the big, the big tray right here. Of course, it's a stegosaurus. It's always a stegosaurus. And there we go, our fire volcano stegosaurus. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same what we just opened today in ice. Even with the same mask, they are roughly the same. No design changes there, right? Do they feel about the same? Yeah, that's the same front tiptoeing leg. And we've got the same kind of mask. I don't mind it being the same just because of the color change in the series change. The odds of picking all of these up is pretty random. So, you know, you pick one or two a year, you build your collection of fun. As long as this guy doesn't melt the new collection. What? So, two more to go. Hope we can find that Amaro Gasosaurus. And, and. Wait, wait, it could be the Armagasosaurus, one of my faves of the uh, Zero series. Let's see what our tag says, I believe it is, yeah. One of my favorites. It's got this cool heavy ball chain to add to its foot. So that means we found everything but the T-Rex, the special rare T-Rex. Whoa, piece of Gasosaurus. Am I saying that right? I always remember it had gas in its name and we build up. Easily one of my favorites in the series. Just, I like the quadrupedic sauropods. They're fun. I like the tail here. I think we've got head wag with tail pole side to side. What was the uh, brontosaurus, brachiosaurus I mean? This is definitely a brachio. Brachio did up and down head bob where Gasosaurus does side to side head bob. Both looking really terrifically awesome hanging out together today. A little more tundra blue on that one. I like the color there, lots of scrapings. Lots of scrapings and then that ball chain holding it down so terrifically mean. Very fun, that brings us to our last Dino Strike by Surprise Ice Age. I'm guessing, oh, probably either another Stegosaurus or probably Dilophosaurus. I feel like I remember getting lots of doubles of those in the past. Lots of doubles. And it's another car. Well, that's not a bad find at all. I've got a couple cars to chase these guys down. That'll be a fun build. Well, let's clean up the table and see what we got. 
we found a great assortment of surprise dinos. Dino Strike Ice Age 5 surprise. A little bit of everything except for that super rare Tyrannosaurus Rex, but that's okay. I like her basic T-Rex. She works out just fine. My favorites are the sauropods, the Brachiosaurus, and the Armagasasaurus. Always two of my faves in the collection. A couple Stegosauruses were found. Dilophosaurus is fragile. Works okay. I, I'm gonna have to work on those frills. Couple trucks and a helicopter. That was kind of a fun surprise to get two trucks and a helicopter. And then we have two Birdiezors. One here on Shimo's back and the other, um, oh, up here up here on top of the box. So what a fun collection nine to collect out there. Pretty much the same that we've seen over the years just now in Ice Age Ice. Oh, and the Dino Ice Age slime you might be asking about. Almost forgot about that. Sort of like the Mega Gross Minis with the slime packets installed. And now we have Ice Age slime. What is it gonna be? How's it gonna consist? Well, it's gonna be slimy, of course. Icy, of course. And, bleh. you know, it's kind of neat. It's got a metallic shine to it. Look at that, that's a fun one. It's really glossy and shiny, metallic. I don't think I've seen a blue slime before with this kind of shimmer. A Little bit of purple in certain angles and a little bit of sky blue. That's a fun one. It's a little bit sticky. A little bit sticky, might want to leave it out for an hour or so and let it maybe let it solidify up a little bit. But a pretty good slime nonetheless. Use it and abuse it on your dinos or store it in these uh, nice resealable balls and it'll hold hold your slime for a few weeks. There we go with Dino Strike Ice Age. What do you think? Pretty good icy collection to continue on the universe of zero small dinosaur collectibles. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel live, squamant. Are you a superior squirrel watcher? Well, place that down in the comments. You may just win a t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.